Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we are doing a hair install today. And today's video is different because it's actually a unit that I have on my website. So if you guys are interested, you can get this from my website, which is the House of Glitters. So this is my pink full lace box braided wig. It does come in different colors. As you guys can see, it comes with three combs, it comes with an elastic band, and we just gonna get, you guys. So when I was installing this wig, my cap started coming off and like it was so aggravating. So I'm gonna go ahead with foundation and I'm going to put that on my lace to make it the color of my scalp. And then I'm going to just place the wig on my head just to see how it looks before I get into cutting. As you guys can see, I told you my cap was messed up, so I reapplied it. We're gonna go in with the Bold Hold Active Glue. I've been liking this one lately, but I do like to switch up on my glues. So I'm just gonna put this around the perimeter of the lace, pretty much where that cap meets my forehead and we're just gonna flatten that glue down with the back of a brush so i'm just going to place the wig on my head this part is super easy it's pretty much the same technique i do with every other wig and i'm just going to hold it there for a few seconds and then i'm going to start to cut off all the extra lace so the first time you install a wig you do want to install the wig with the lace on the wig it kind of helps for a grip so you just pretty much pull down the lace so that it adheres easier. It's like less work for you. So don't cut your lace off first. You cut it off after, especially when it's the first time. So I'm just going to apply a head wrap over that lace so that it gets nicely secured on there. I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes as you guys can see, I have not cut the lace off yet. Like I said, do not cut your lace because this helps the whole process. So then I'm gonna go and I start to cut my lace in sections. So first I go down the middle and then I do the right side and make sure that you're cutting it in like squiggly lines. Don't go straight because that, that does not look natural. So you want this hairline to look as natural as possible. So you wanna go in like squiggly lines. Don't do a straight cut. So this is how the waist looks. As you can see, there was some lace showing in the front. I just went in with the foundation again and went over that and it blended perfectly in with my skin color. That's because my wig is laid down flat. So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut the other side. Like I said, I cut my wig in four parts. This just makes it easier for me. And now I'm going to go ahead and take out the baby hairs. Each wig does come with baby hairs. But to make the wig look even natural, you're gonna have to pluck between the baby hairs and the hairline. In this video, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just keeping it nice and simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the baby hairs in a like slanted line so that it looks more natural. If you want your baby hairs to be thinner, like I said, you can always go ahead and thin them out. Today's video is just like a grab and go for people who are not very like experienced in installing wigs. But like I said, you could always pluck the hairline. It is your preference. So I'm actually trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to lay my baby hairs with some mousse, but that does not work very well. So I ended up having to go upstairs and use my got to be. And it's so funny because out here, they don't really have like edge control where I live and I didn't want to buy it from Amazon. I just literally like wanted it right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay the baby hairs and use got to be. So this is the finished look. Before I did my makeup, this is just how the wig looks on my head. I absolutely love this unit. I like to kind of spice it up with string and hair beads, but this is how it looks. So if you purchase, this is what you will be getting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, guys. Bye.